boy. <gasps> Comment down below if you think I look like I got punched. I think I do. Hey guys, so today I'm going to change out my makeup routine and try out some new products as well. Exciting! And at the same time, I'm going to be getting ready for a date night later. So definitely, I can't screw this up. So, stay tuned! So, first off, I just want to show you some of the new stuff that I got. Starting with this makeup bag over here to store my brushes. But I'm so stupid. It's not a bag. It's a makeup pouch for you to like hang around your waist like that. And the funny part is my husband figured this out for me. Oh my god. <laughs> so these are the existing brushes that I have. So next off, we got even more eye brushes. And this is the one by Morphe in collaboration with James Charles. I absolutely love this puppy. I think it's just really convenient to store your brushes and for traveling. But anyway, I got it in a set with all of these beautiful brushes here. It's $75, yeah. And with Black Friday sales, yeah, even cheaper. So this is gonna be very unusual. I'm gonna start off with doing my brows, eyes, and moving on to my base. I hope I don't screw this up, like really. And then I also got this new Anastasia product over here. Deep Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've heard a lot of good reviews about this. I'm gonna try this out in the shade of medium brown since I have like blonde hair. So this is how it looks. Ooh, looking gorgeous. Now I hope I don't screw this up. I've been using the eyebrow whisk for a very long time. I wanna compare this to the ColourPop brow pot and see which one's more worth it, especially for the value difference. It is huge. Holy shit! Holy shit! This is so good! The application is really easy compared to the ColourPop one in my opinion and holy shit this looks bomb and please disregard this crooked brows here <laughs> I'll fix it later but it looks good Holy shit I'm blown away Oh my god can you look at that difference? Holy shit I absolutely love this. I mean, I love the brow bees as well, but it runs out really quickly and it's just too expensive to keep buying it. So I thought I'd just try the deep brow pomade. And oh my god, this is. I love it. I am in love. Righty, the brows are done. Worth it. I love this product. So quick and nice. And then next, we're gonna be prepping my eyelids with this Benefit concealer over here. This is the existing one that I have. I don't have any eye primers at the moment. I'll just use this. And then today I've decided to use this So Jaded palette again by Colourpop and Kathleen Light. I think it's four shades right here. That's the look that I'm feeling today because of the dress that I'm wearing. So let's get started. Oh and by the way, this was the brush that I was using. The M581 brush to do my brows just now. I absolutely love this. I'm not sure if it was the brush or if it was the deep brown pomade. I have no idea. But it was good. It was working good for me. I'm going out of my comfort zone and using new brushes, new techniques, routines. Well, not everything, but a lot. A lot, you know. I'm gonna be using this Morphe 441 brush. This is how it looks like for the base shape. I'm gonna be using this color over here called Amatrine. Just gonna blend this up. It's written on the website that this brush is good for diffusing the shade and it looks like it as well. Huh? Looking good so far. Or do I look like I just got punched? Bring this out a little bit to create that wing shape right here. Buffing it out. This is what I've learned from watching videos last week. Let's hope it doesn't go wrong. Oh. On this eye. Next, we're gonna be moving back in with my Morphe M443 brush. My favorite brush right here. I'm going in with the shape of Garnet. This darker shade right here. There's two darker in the outer corner. It's gonna be 
went a little bit too heavy with this darker shade on my right eye. Very pigmented and dark, of course. blend it out a little more so I don't look like I got finished. Okay, so this is how the eyeshadow looks like right now. It actually turned out a lot darker than what I expected. <laughs> you is being weird. Okay, to create something even more special, should I do a cut crease look today? I've only done that once ever. Let's challenge ourselves. Let's go for it. I'm gonna be using this M4224 brush over here. So it looks like to do a cut crease. brush right here called M166 we're gonna go in with this shade called Alright right here holy this is so pretty can you see yes girl this is standing out so much I'm bringing this down to my inner lower lash line Okay, now I feel like this shade needs to pop even more. So I'm gonna top it up with this shade called Diamond over here. This is a very beautiful purple shade, but I feel like it could pop even more with the help of the other shade. So right now I've done my other eye off camera as well, and we're just gonna go back with this shade called Jasper right here. With this Morphe M124 brush over here. It's gonna be using this shade to darken the waterline. Create more definition to the look. So by doing this step, it's as if I just apply some brown eyeliner onto my waterline, except that this is not as dark and tinted as the eyeliner. So this is the complete eyeshadow look. Okay, now we're just going to go in and do the base makeup. Right now I've got this Paw Professional Face Primer by Benefit here. I'm just gonna prime my face. <laughs> oh! <laughs> slap me? No, that, that was called a low slap. Oh, slap me. We're gonna hop right into using this Fenty Beauty Foundation here. I bought this new Real Technique brush. This is how it looks like. It looks like a comb. My friend told me that this blends really well, so let's try it out. Here's the instruction. How should I be blending this? In circular motion to blend this out. I look like I'm massaging my face. Oh, it's crap. I actually really like how this blends out. Then we're gonna be using this ColourPop Precision Blending Sponge here for my under eye. I'm gonna blend out the concealer here. I mean the foundation. Oh. I actually really like the application of this sponge. It blends it out nicely and it gets to those nitty gritty details that I have to blend out. Oh, I actually really like the application of that. I don't even know what you call this. The comb? It blends so nicely. And it feels like I'm massaging my face. Looks like I may have a new routine of blending my base makeup with this ColourPop Precision Sponge and that comb over there. I don't know what you call it, but I call it comb. I'm gonna put a bit more around this area that I need more coverage. Okay, next we're gonna be concealing the brush using this Benefit Concealer right here in the shade of light. <laughs> then we're gonna be setting everything using this Maybelline Fit Me Loose finishing powder here. Today I'm gonna be using this powder brush. 
my new by nature over here instead of that kabuki brush I guess now that I've done my eyeshadow and brows I prefer using this smaller surface powder brush instead of that big fluffy kabuki brush just to be more precise and cautious then today we have another new friend over here this is the Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream by Huda Beauty this is in the shade of white because I heard that it's kind of dark how it looks can you take off the cap I think it's so pretty I like it okay, so this is the shade that I got I'm gonna be using this Morphe E4 brush right here okay, I'm just going a bit light because I don't want to screw this up I'm not sure if this is the right shade for me but then I guess we'll find out in a second I think this contour cream is doing a good job. My face is significantly smaller. I think this is the right shade for me as well. Yeah, I like it. And then I'm gonna be trying out this other new product. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner over here. I've heard so much great things about this eyeliner. I heard that was once this victim was so amazed that she got into a car crash and her eyeliner didn't even smudge. Like, wow! Alright, let's get started. I hope I don't screw this up. I'm gonna shake it a bit. Things coming off. It's weird. Let's try a few strokes on my hand. I can already tell this is so much easier to control compared to the Maybelline Hyper Sharp eyeliner. This is definitely so much easier to control compared to the Maybelline one and you're less likely to screw up your eyeliner but the formula is a bit dry I guess well, I'll just do my other eye I'm actually a bit annoyed, it's a bit hard to get the ink out <laughs> I'm not sure if it's just the one that I got or if it's just the formula in general With that thing, I feel myself less likely to like screw up my eyeliner like <laughs> You know when you like move your hand a little bit too much or like accidentally and then you get it all over your eye, it's like oh my god. Okay, so this is how the eyeliner looks. I think overall the Kat Von D eyeliner is really good for beginners if like your hands are especially really wonky or if you're very clumsy and you tend to get it all over the place. This one is a very steady one, get it for that. But other than that, it's like Sometimes it's a bit hard to get the ink out Like I have to do it many times on my hand before like applying it I mean it's just a little bit harder Then I curve my lashes and do my mascara off camera and be right back Okay so I've curved down my eyelashes off camera And I absolutely like how this entire makeup looks glowy Right, we're gonna move right into setting our makeup Gonna contour with this Fancy Beauty highlighter over here This Killer Watt highlighter over here And don't get me wrong, this is the one that I've owned even before the Becca highlighter But just thought I might use the pink highlighter today instead Just gonna go into using this darker pink shade over here I absolutely love this Morphe fanning brush I feel like all of the highlighters just go on so nicely with this fanning brush these brushes definitely make my life a lot easier when it comes to applying highlighter So this is how it looks oh, It's just so gorgeous It may not be as bomb as the um, Becca one but I still love it Equally if I want just like a more subtle highlighter and a pinkish one I would just go for this one So this is just a more pinkish and subtle highlighter Okay I'm just gonna finish off with this Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade of Echo Park So this is just a really gorgeous new dish pink shade right here and the look is completed Ready for my date night 
So I'm glad everything went well today even though I changed out I introduced a lot of new products and I changed out my routine here and there with those products And also going in with the eyeshadow first before the base makeup It's what I'm most terrified about But it all turned out good which I'm very happy and pleasant about So ta-da! So just a quick recap of the products that I like I really love this Anastasia Beverly Hughes Deep Brow Pomade in the shade of Medium Brows My brows, they look so good today, absolutely love it I also love the Huda Beauty Contour Cream right here I kind of love the Kat Von D eyeliner as well in a way that like it doesn't get onto like the rest of my face easily and it's really good for those with wonky hands and good for beginners especially sometimes I may still have wonky hands every now and then and it screws up my makeup this is just so steady and good it's what I like about the eyeliner even though it may be a little bit hard to get it out sometimes overall it's pretty good before the new products and I absolutely love those new brushes as well but I feel like I still need to like I use it more to get the hang out of it and for it to be like my go-to brushes Oh by the way, this is like a Ariana Grande look with a high ponytail just that mine's really tiny Okay, I'm gonna move on to doing my hair and I'll be back Okay, so this is the complete the get ready with me look I'm gonna steal my wife back <laughs> We going on a date! <laughs> they just told me a sad oh. news! The rest restaurant is full today I mean tonight we can't get a reservation tonight but we have to make it tomorrow okay bye this is the final look and I'll see you guys next time